It was in the beginning of the month of June uh, 1997, and we have been in Congo Brazzaville. Uh, civil war was raging about, uh, in the town you had about uh, 30,000 warriors, which called ninjas, Sulus, uh, cobras, and all this stuff. And in the middle of the, in the middle of the civil war, uh, French foreign legionaries. Normally we should uh, make an intervention in uh, Congo, Kinshasa, but uh, uh, things don't happen, didn't happen, and American soldiers, Portuguese soldiers, whatever other soldiers from the French army, they left the scene, left the, the other operational, and we stayed back in, uh, in Congo Brazzaville, you know, on the other side of the, of the Congo River, just to make some, whatever, instruction, training. We've been one company, the first company of the second rep, and uh, 120 men, whatever. Then uh, suddenly uh, the war broke out in Congo Brazzaville, and it was a really brutal, uh, brutal war. And we have been all surprised by the by the intensity and the brutality of the war, you know, and the amount of weapons and warriors and all this stuff. Uh, and uh, so we have been called uh, in the middle of the night. We have been called to to save a uh, French family uh, who has been held back by, uh, by cobras in, uh, in the middle of the town. And the problem was we had uh, no manpower. Uh, and we uh, should, uh, for each mission, we split the platoons in two parts or in three parts. So we could conduct this mission only with one group. And uh, one group would mean uh, one VAB, VAB, Vehicle Avon Blinded. This is a uh, a troop carrier tank uh, with 10 men inside, you know, uh, and uh, me, myself and I, I should be the, the, the leader of the, of the legionnaires and uh, my captain, he, has, uh, he was on board of a Picard, Picard is kind of a French jeep, you know, and uh, at the end of the day we have been 10 men to conduct a very dangerous mission. And um, as I told you before, the French, uh, the French family has been held back by force in town by cobras and uh, i remember very well when we get ready our stuff our weapons our armaments our ammunition and and uh, uh, we we constantly know that the mission was dangerous because we had no manpower you know afterwards later on when the war was raging later uh, two weeks later we have been uh, the second rei the first wreck and 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 other french soldiers from other french armies uh, army part you know but uh, this was in the future not for today. Les évacuations vers la France depuis cet aéroport qui a priori est sécurisé. So the preparations have been done very quick, you know. I had uh, with me 10 men. Uh, within the 10 men I had two snipers. They were equipped with the FRFD uh, fusil à réputation uh, modèle uh, 2. Uh, there was a sniper rifle that can uh, hit an enemy uh, in a long distance to up to 800 meters. I had one, uh, one shooter LRAC, this is an anti-tank uh, anti rocket, it's like an RPG-7, you know. And uh, I had uh, my driver, me, myself and I, two snipers, one LRAC, and the other guys had been a normal uh, grenadier voltigeur, you know, infantrymen, infantry riflemen. <laughs> On board I had Yves de Bay. Yves de Bay was a Belgium, French journalist. He was very famous and he wanted to cover the, the, the operation. But I, I ordered him, I ordered him to stay in the VAB under every circumstance and not leave the VAB. Uh, because the mission was, it uh, seems to me, was very dangerous, you know, and uh, that's what he did finally. That's what he did finally. And the second uh, vehicle was my captain my captain, uh, the captain of the unit, uh, uh, I'll, I'll say in French language, uh, Commandant Lunité, his driver and his uh, radio transmission guy. You know. And uh, just before starting, uh, heading to town, uh, we had, uh, there was a, a Toyota coming to us, uh, joining us, and inside of the Toyota you had uh, a local driver, you had uh, four journalists, journalist, so one wife, um, 
French journalist and they told us that they will accompany us, come with us to cover the to cover the action. And they showed us a clearance coming from the headquarters, from French headquarters, but the clearance was not correct. So we made a radio call, so get informed ourselves, but it was not true. They did not they didn't have a clearance. So we ordered them to stay here. Yeah. So uh, we we we, we uh, told them that they are interdiction, interdiction, you are forbidden to come with us. Yeah. Stay here in Orstrom. Orstrom is the camp we have been based. And um, finally, that's what we did. And it was good. And then, when everything was ready, uh, the, 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 the VIB, the, 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 the manpower, everything was good to go. Let's go. We did. We had it uh, in the middle of the, of the Bourbois. Let's say in the middle of the eye of the storm. When we came close to the house where the French uh, citizen, the French family was held back by cobras, it was crazy. We came to a place and our first car, the pickup of the Capitaine, was uh, stopped by Cobra warriors. And uh, all around the scene, you could see about, let's say, 50 or 60 Cobra warriors. And they had uh, a lot of RPG-7, you know, anti-tank rockets. And a lot of uh, PKM, AK-47. I even saw a pistol as Makarov, Russian, uh, Russian model. And they were heavily armed. But this was not the problem. The problem was that everybody seemed to be drunken or drugged. Uh, uh, they were sitting, uh, sitting on the ground, lying on the ground, staring towards us, smoking, hushish, whatever. And uh, they, in their eyes I saw a kind of hostility. Uh, what are you doing here, friends, soldiers? They were, uh, they were not our, 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 our friends, you know. And, and uh, it seems to me to be a base where warriors coming directly from the front can uh, take a little bit break, make a break, make a sleep, make a, get some food and then go to the front again and fighting, you know. I saw a lot of guys blessed, wounded. And um, the next problem was that with each minute passed, there were more and more and more. So in the beginning we had about 40, 45, uh, two, four, five minutes later we had about 60, 65, 70 and so on. And, and I saw a uh, I saw at least eight RPG sevens, you know, and uh, our captain get get out of the pickup and he start talking with the cobras because we need to get through there to go finally to the house where the French family has has been held back. So he starts to arc to dispute with the uh, with the commander there, so place of cobra commander, and uh, but there was no way I couldn't. I couldn't feel that things were going in the right way. Uh, I, I was I was a little bit afraid of the situation because it was not it was not good. It was not it was insane. It was not healthy. You know, it was a bad place for us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was about 50 meters from the scene, you know, I, I took a little bit distance to be able to intervene with my, with my man, with the VIB. And uh, on board of the VIB I had a Browning machine gun, machine gun caliber 50. And I observed the scene and uh, sometimes I had eye contact with our captain who told me, stop, do nothing, uh, no intervention for the moment. And suddenly I heard a voice behind us and it was a Toyota was the Toyota heading in front of us and uh, I saw the journalist, the French journalist uh, heading towards us, you know, and they get out of the Toyota and uh, it was a crazy situation. And in the same moment as the Cobra saw the journalist with all the cameras, with the statives, with all the, with all the gear for taking photos, making movies, making films, they were like enraged. They were like crazy. Everybody stood up. Everybody was pointing the arm, the weapons towards our direction. And then uh, the cobras came close. 
came closer to the journalist and they start to taking their material, smashing the cameras to the ground, shaking their journalists. And even I saw even guys who, who took the knife, you know, approaching to the journalist. My uh, captain was in big trouble, you know, and uh, I made a, a radio call and, hey, hey, captain, what should I do if they try to, 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 to kill the, the European, uh, European journalists? They, they have been Europeans, you know, you know white, white people, you know. And, and he told me, he ordered me by radio, no, under no circumstance you will intervene. And even if they, uh, if they try to kill the journalist, no intervention from my part. And for me it was kind of, wow, I should be témoin, I should testimony the death of French journalists without doing nothing. It was not in my spirit. It was not in our brain. So I, uh, I, I was ready to dis disobey the order from the captain and the scene in front of me getting wilder and wilder and wilder. But I also knew constantly that if my men would open fire to help the journalist, the same moment, maybe five seconds later, our, our VRB carrier would be exploded, being exploded by at least eight or nine RPC-7 grenades. And then that was it, you know. And I decided in my head uh, to make this day Camarone, Camarone day. And I, I saw in the eyes of my men, you know, I, I silently, without, uh, without talking too much, you know, secretly gave some orders how we could uh, contact the mission. And I saw in the eyes of my legionnaire that they were ready to die this day. They were ready to die this day. The next problem was that uh, my men couldn't disembark from the VAB carrier because um, if they did so, it would have been seen immediately by Cobras as a hostile act. And a hostile act. And uh, as I told you before, we had about 70 men around us. We were 10. And um, so I ordered everybody to get out of the tank by the upwards to the, to the traps, you know, to the traps. And I had the two sniper were ready. They had their target in their head. I had uh, my shooter LRC, same thing. The Browning machine gun was loaded, ready to fire. So uh, we just uh, could wait for the moment and be ready to intervene. It. And uh, meanwhile, the, the four uh, journalists has been uh, thrown to the ground and the cobras hit them and the, and the journalists were screaming. And, and, and over the scene I saw directly in the eyes of my commander in chief, of my captain, and he just was shaking the head. No, no intervention. But for me, my, my decision was clear. And uh, it was, a, and, and finally I reached the point, we reached the point that it was a, a thing of 10 seconds. And I knew that in exactly 10 seconds, I would give the order and do so myself to open fire. Uh, I remember very well that I had uh, AP Troncat, it was an anti-personal grenade on my FAMAS, and behind them I could open, could uh, continue the fire with normal real round, you know, so everything was ready, my head was ready, and we were ready to make Cameroon this day. Uh, and uh, 10 seconds, that's, this was the, this was, was my target in 10 seconds, open fire and yeah, ready for, 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 for everything who would follow then. And uh, let me tell you that uh, not even five seconds later and five seconds before we uh, would begin our, yeah, our final war, uh, a commander in chief of the Cobras arrived, another guy. He was sober, he was not drugged, he was not under alcohol, and he stopped the scene immediately. He talked with the Cobra warriors uh, four or five words and everything was done. Everything was good. <sighs> wow. And this day we have been uh, really close, really close. Close to die. Yep. But it didn't happen. And the war in Congo Brazzaville was not over yet. I By far not over. I'm turning round, 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 following my feelings crazy, now all bound, searching 
brothers in arms Turning round, round, round Following my feelings crazy and out of bounds Here we are, here you are Here I am moving towards invincibility Searching for a no man's land Fighting, praying, celebrating victory Turning round, round, round Do it with real sound Following my spirits crazy and out of bound, Out of bound, out of bound.